Hi Spartans, it's Miss College A here. Are you thinking ahead to winter break and wondering what you'll read? Well, I have three great books to share with you and I have multiple copies of each one. So all you'll have to do is email me and I'll be sure to get one, two, or all three of them to you before winter break. So the three books I wanna to talk to you about are Restart, Scat, and Arusha, and The End of Time. Restart is written by Gordon Corman. In the story Restart, Chase has had an accident that has resulted in him having amnesia, which means he can't remember what his life was like before the accident. As he returns to his normal life, he's starting to get the impression that maybe he wasn't the best guy before he had his accident. In fact, he was feared and was kind of a bully. He also might have participated in some sort of mystery and made a really poor choice. And Restart is about giving Chase a fresh start to be a new person. There's also the solution to that mystery way at the end of the book. So this book is realistic fiction, but has a little twist of mystery in it as well. Scat is written by Carl Hyacin, and it's part of a group of books that he writes about that are set in the same place. Here's the collection here. They're all set in Florida near the Everglades, and they all often have some sort of environmental theme to them. This one is called Scat, and the blurb on the back says, the most terrifying teacher in school is missing in the Everglades, and it's up to Nick and Marta to find her. But first they'll have to reckon with a junior arsonist, a wannabe Texas oil man, and a ticked off Florida panther. It's all about to hit the fan, and when it does, these kids better scat. Scat is by Carl Hyacin. The last one I want to tell you about is this book, which is on my to-read list for winter break. It's called Arusha and the End of Time. This book is part of the Rick Riordan Presents series. Rick Riordan, you might be familiar with, wrote the Percy Jackson series, and the success of that series led him to want to highlight writers from other cultures who celebrate the folklore and mythology in their heritage. So this is called Arusha and the End of Time, and I'm going to read you the blurb this time that's on the jacket. Arusha has a tendency to stretch the truth in order to fit in at her private middle school. While her classmates are jetting off to exotic vacations, she'll be spending her autumn break in the Museum of Ancient Indian Arts and Culture that her mom curates. Is it any wonder Aru makes up stories about being royalty, traveling to Paris, and having a chauffeur? One day, three schoolmates show up at Aru's doorstep to catch her in a lie. They don't believe her claim that the museum's lamp of Bharata is cursed, and they dare Aru to prove it. Just a quick light, Aru thinks. Then she'll never ever fib again. But lighting the lamp has dire consequences. She unwittingly frees the sleeper, an ancient demon who is intent on awakening the god of destruction. Her classmates and mother are frozen in time and it's up to Aru to save them. The only way to stop the demon is to find the reincarnations of the legendary Pandava brothers and journey through the kingdom of death. But how is one girl in Spider-Man pajamas supposed to do all that? Oh, doesn't it sound great? This sounds like an amazing fantasy book and it's the first in a series. So I'm super excited to read it and I hope you will too. Remember, all you need to do is email me with your information and I'll be sure to get you one, two, or all three of these books so you have some great titles to read over winter break. Happy reading, Spartans!